In this question part, we have to find the probability that the mass of a bag is greater than 1005 grams, given that the bag is not rejected. The words given that show us that this is a conditional probability question, so we'll use the following formula from section 4.6 of the formula booklet. What this formula tells us is that the probability of A given that B is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Let's apply this formula to our situation. The question starts by given that a bag is not rejected. Therefore, event B in the formula is that a bag is not rejected, while event A is that the mass of the bag is greater than 1005 grams. A bag is rejected when it's less than 995 grams, so a bag is not rejected when its mass is greater than or equal to 995 grams. So using the formula we can write that we are looking for the probability that the mass is greater than 1005 grams, given that the mass is greater than or equal to 995 grams. Working with the right-hand side of the formula, we get the probability of the mass is being greater than 1005 grams and being greater or equal to 995 grams divided by the probability that the mass is greater than or equal to 995 grams. To work further, we'll sketch a normal distribution diagram. The mean of the distribution is 1000. Let's assume that 995 is here. Since 995 is 5 grams below the mean and 1005 is 5 grams above the mean, we can draw 1005 here at the same distance from the mean as 995. We found in question part A that this area is 0 0.0766. Because of the symmetry in the diagram, this area is also 0 0.0766. Let's go back to our probability formula and work a bit further. In the numerator, we have the probability that the mass of a bag is more than 1005 grams and at the same time more than 995 grams. If the mass of a bag is more than 1005 grams, its mass automatically is larger than 995 grams. So we can rewrite the numerator as the probability of the mass being larger than 1005 grams. The meaning of this expression is exactly the same as the meaning of the previous numerator. In the denominator, we still have the same probability. Let's go back to the diagram. Here we can see that the probability that the mass of a bag is larger than 1005 grams is 0 0.0766. Let's figure out the probability that the mass of a bag is greater than or equal to 995 grams. The area representing this probability is the area in the middle plus the area that we have already shaded in yellow. Since the total area under the normal distribution graph is 1, the green area is equal to 1 minus the red area, so 0 0.0766. In the next step, we just have to use our calculator to get the probability that we are looking for. And here I will first create a fraction by pressing alpha y and enter and then type in the numerator, so 0 0.0766, followed by the denominator, so 1 minus 0 0.0766. The result of this calculation is the following number, which will round to three significant figures. The third significant figure here is 9, and the fourth significant figure is 5, therefore we'll change the 9 to a 0 and the 2 to a 3. This gives us that the answer is 0 0.0830. Note that in the official mark scheme, the answer is 0 0.0829, because there the working is done using the unrounded value from question part A. You're allowed to use either the rounded or the unrounded value from previous question parts, so our answer here would also receive full marks. Let's see two exam-taking tips that can help you earn full marks on similar questions. 
The first one is that when in a question you see the words given that, it is a strong hint that you might have to use conditional probability to find the solution. The second one, and this is basically a direct quote from the instructions that are given in the mark scheme, is that where values are used in subsequent parts, the mark scheme will generally use the exact value. However, you may also use the correct answer to three significant figures in subsequent parts. 